This video covers installation details of Thermon's Terminator ZP, FAK1 kit for bulkhead entry of electrically heated tube trace bundles. Receiving, storing, and handling. Inspect materials for damage incurred during shipping. Report any damages to the carrier for settlement. Identify parts against the packing list to ensure the proper type and quantity have been received. And, store in a dry location. Use the supply dimensions for the Terminator ZP. FAK1 to ensure adequate space is available for proper installation. The following kit is required for power and end terminations of electrically heated tube trace bundles. One kit is needed per heater and must be ordered separately. These are the recommended tools for installation of the Terminator ZP FAK1 kit. Individuals installing these products are responsible for complying with all applicable safety and health guidelines. Proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be utilized during installation. Contact Thermon if you have any additional questions. Remove the outer jacket and insulation from the end of the tubing bundle. Use caution to not cut heat trace while removing bundle insulation. Ensure a minimum of 305 mm or 12 inches of heat trace is available for electrical connection. For zone type heat tracing, the bus connection should be located within 50 to 70 mm or 2 to 3 inches from the end of the bundle insulation. If the bus connection is not visible, proceed stripping the bundle insulation to the next indentation. Separate heat tracing from tubing and bend 90 degrees. Wrap tubes and heat trace with one pass of heat reflective tape with 25% overlap. Then, wrap with three passes of glass fiber tape, with 50% overlap, or until fiber tape is equal to original bundle insulation thickness. Complete with one additional pass of heat reflective tape. Trim the FAK1 cover halves to match the outside diameter of the tubing bundle. Mount the expediter base with O-ring to the FAK1 base using 3 M5 screws and lock washers. Apply RTV sealant to both halves of the FAK1 cover. Place the tubing bundle end in the FAK1 base. Join the FAK1 halves and secure with four pan head screws and nuts. Tram the heat trace to a minimum of 180 mm or 7 inches from the expediter base. Terminate the heat trace with the appropriate PETK termination kit. Refer to the PETK instructions for details not addressed here. At completion of termination, push excess cable back through expediter. Drill a hole matching the bundle diameter into the bulkhead. Mark the locations for U-bolt entry. Drill 1 quarter inch or 7 mm holes through the bulkhead. Pre-drill FAK1 with 5 mm or 3 16 inch holes for securing the FAK1 to the bulkhead. Apply an RTVB to the back of the FAK1 flange prior to securing to the bulkhead. Secure the FAK1 to the bulkhead using three stainless steel screws and you bolt as shown. For power connection applications, use the dimple molded into the side of the junction box base to center the hole. 
Drill for user supplied power connection fitting per manufacturer's recommendation. Mount the junction box on the expediter making sure to align the slots to properly orient the junction box base. Install the quick mount terminal block, twist to position and tighten. Complete system wiring between fabricated heat tracing and power supply wiring. Install the junction box lid and twist hand tight. Insert a screwdriver into the ratchet slot located on the side of the junction box base to tighten. The lid will rotate 30 degrees. To remove the lid, repeat in opposite direction. Apply an RTV bead around the FAK1 flange. Completed Terminator ZP, FAK1 kit, for bulkhead entry of electrically heated tube trace bundles. For additional information on this product, visit us on the web at thermon.com.